Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? It's Zach Jack Dan back with another top 10 list. This time we're talking about the top 10 best toy reveals of the week. This may be a recurring video. If you guys enjoy it, let me know. Let's get started. So, first things first, I'm going to go through. All the reveals that did not make the top 10 and did not make honorable mention, just so we can be aware of what was revealed this week. So stay tuned and we'll get to the honorable mentions and the top 10. But here we go. So, first off, let's talk about the vintage collection and the Mandalorian, the Armorer, three and three quarter figure. This was revealed. There are three and three, three, three and three quarter figures that were revealed. And Moff Gideon was the second three and three quarter that was revealed for the vintage collection that third figure is the mandalorian himself with the child and also the carrier and also this is a one where you can actually remove the helmet and you see the head sculpt next we're going to jump over into another three and three quarter line and this one is called the retro collection and this retro collection in this case comes with also a moth gideon these are the five points of articulation, just like our old original three and three quarter figures that we had back in the day. We also have Gref Karga, Cole. We have IG 11, Cara Dune, The Child. With its carrier and the frog, and the Mandalorian himself. So, pretty good start to a retro collection here if you guys are interested in this kind of thing. Also, reveal was a Star Wars The Mandalorian Edition game, Monopoly, which comes with this retro, again, the five point articulation Kenner figure for the Remnant Stormtrooper. Also, we're getting the Star Wars The Child animatronic edition figure with the carrier. This thing can go on your back and it move around for you. Also, we've got some Legos coming out for the child. Pop figure of Gref Karga. And then jumping into the Hasbro Pulse for the uh, HasLab. Of the Razor Crest, this is actually some shots of it in color finally. So they got the paint apps on it. It's a really nice look at that red on the seat inside. You see the gold on the inside, the silver on the outside, some, some bronze looks to it. A little place for the child to be sitting in the seat behind him. There's the pieces that you can take off of and all the colors on that. Here's his escape pod. All the guns in the armory. So they provide us with two more unlock levels for the Aslab Razor Crest unlock for these three and three quarter ship. Fifteen thousand backers. They're going to give us that clear display stand to give the Razor Crest some different angle, a different angle that it can uh, kind of rest on and, and look like it's in a flight position. And then unlock number five is at seventeen thousand backers. You're going to need you're going to get that off-world Jawa Elder figure. Our Vala 7 with the exclusive Kukri knife and the necklace and the open uh, Mudhorn egg. And you get it on that vintage card back. So that's pretty awesome. So jumping over to Hot Toys, we have the Mandalorian Cos Babies Bobblehead series. Disney exclusive Star Wars Droid Factory BBH 20 holiday figure. Mattel, Mattel jumping into the the child Mandalorian figures, and you got this plush, uh, real moves child here. So you got a little remote control and everything, pretty awesome. 
Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure phone booth by Incendium Fig Biz. And here is the NECA Santa Stripe and Gizmo final packaging images. Fantasia Sorcerer Mickey Mouse Disney toy box action figure here. Figure number 19. Figure number 23 here is the Disney toy box Ghost Spider, Venomized Spider-Man, and you got this Venomized Hulk here. And here's that Venomized Spider-Man, figure number 22. Also, figure number 24, you have the Ghost Spider. With that Gwen Stacy head as well. And then you also have the Spider-Man and Spider-Ham with the bike Disney toy box set. Of course, here is something we've known about, but this is the first time we've seen them in package. you got the Toka and Razor for the NECA Movie Turtles. Walmart exclusive $40 set for these Playmates uh, comic book card looking figures here. With Splinter, Shredder, and the four turtles. And then we jumped into a Power Rangers Fan First Friday event that gave us a few um, actual images of figures that we knew about and then some extra stuff here we'll talk about. So first things first, you have these two two packs here. One is the In Space Red Ranger with Astronomer. Probably the best head sculpt I've seen on any of these Lightning Collection figures. I love this face, uh, the space sculpt they did here. And then there's his sister. Got him in battle here, so that's pretty awesome. Next two pack is the SPD B Squad Blue Ranger and the SPD A Squad Blue Ranger against each other. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Not really sure about this head sculpt, but you guys let me know. Next, we have the Mighty Morphin Pumpkin Wrapper, which is the deluxe figures that we're going to be starting getting here for the monsters of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This is pretty awesome looking here. Got those pumpkins that will actually fit on top of anybody's head, the ranger, the putty, whatever. And then you also have the Mighty Morphin King Sphinx figure. So again, had we not already known about these, um, these would have definitely made top 10 this week. But other than that, we didn't get these on top 10. So that's it for the Lightning Collection. But they also revealed these six inch basic figures for the new Dino Fury show that's coming in 2021 in Nickelodeon. And also this Megazord T-Rex Champion Zord. And four other Zords that they showed for that new show. Transformers Galactic Odyssey Collection. You got the Dominus Criminal Pursuit 2-pack with Barricade and Punch Counterpunch figure. You got a third-party Mastermind Creations Ocular Max. Stellaris Prominent Perminion. Sorry if I mispronounced that one. Here he is in his vehicle form. And here's a uh, thrust in his box. We have not seen that yet. Nice super sized six inch Thanos figure uh, as Punisher, Earth 18138 pop figure. Another Falcon and Winter Soldier pop vinyl here. Here's the Falcon. And then McFarlane Toys provided us with some more. And this is a platinum edition. These are somewhat bronze, but then you have that black effect that are on them. In this case, it's the bat symbol on Batman's chest. And then when you look at Deathstroke, you'll see the black on the side, the right side of his face. So something different McFarlane's pushing out to us. 
from Super 7 on Reaction Figure. You've got the Nightmare Before Christmas. And from Mondo, I think we showed this last week, but here's some more pictures of the black uh, creature from the Black Lagoon, one six scale figure in hand. Some black and white something, pretty cool. And first time we've ever seen, we got the Krang in his packaging. This was found at Targets whenever you scan the barcode. Of course, we know Krang has now been pushed out to 2021 for release. We have the Mego Ultraman. And Cos Baby Zombie and Cos Rider Marvel figures from Hot Toys. Translucent cap with his brain showing zombie. We've got the metallic color version of Wolverine. Rusty version of Iron Man for all these Marvel zombies. You have the metallic color version of Magneto. The fluorescent color version of Cap. And the fluorescent version of Iron Man. Of course, that looks like Rhodey underneath. And then you have the Cause, cause Riders of Loki and the special color luminous reflective effect on the Black Panther. And special color version of the Deadpool 2 as well. Also with Hot Toys, you got the Disney plus Wanda Vision Cos Baby figures of Wanda and Vision in their Halloween costumes. NECA 7 inch Ultimate gives the Battle Damage City Hunter Predator. Spawn Kickstarter finally gives us an early production sample here from McFarlane Toys. Neck 8 inch Richard Simmons figure packaging. Finally, see this Ghost in a Shell SAC 2045 Figma. Really cool looking figure. And SH Figure Arts, you got the Dragon Ball Z. I'm going to mispronounce this. Goku, I'm sure is his name, but Kai Kaioken Goku. And first time we've seen the Super 7 Ultimates, Andre the Giant packaging. A couple of Kickstarters you got is the Boglins from Chris Copini, Road to Domination. So I think this one has already uh, met its money monetization it needs, so it is going to get created. You also have the Mighty, Mighty Maniac Kickstarter, these little three inch from Rocom. And then from NECA, you have the Puppet Master Ultimate Figure 2 Packs. All right, so jumping into the honorable mentions for the week. There are a lot of them. So the only honorable mention I have this week is this 112 scale tentative four blockade runner replica display set for Star Wars New Hope, GTP Toys. This is for six inch figures and holds up to 30 figures. This is pretty cool, a little diorama. All right, so jumping into the top 10 of the week, I know you guys are ready for this. Here we go. So number 10. So at number 10, we're going to go with McFarlane Toys. Got a little sneak peek reveal of the Death of the Family Nightwing, the Bizarre Superman. Of course, we already knew about the Thomas Wayne variant Batman head sculpt there. But reason number 10 is we finally went away from Batman and Superman and got us a Green Lantern for Jon Stewart. So really excited about that. Number nine, Hasbro Black Series Star Wars. You got the speeder bike, Scout Trooper, and the Child from the Mandalorian. So this is an awesome pack here. One of the best scenes in season one. And number eight for Game of Thrones, you got the Arya Stark season eight figure from 3-0. So realistic looking. Number seven from Beast Kingdom, you got the Toy Story Sid and Andy Dynamic Action or Action Heroes. And here's Sid with Scud. Number six, you got a Dawn of Monsters Kickstarter, these nine inch Omega uh, figures from Omega Studios. 
Number five from Hot Toys, you got the Mandalorian with his speeder bike gear. Pretty awesome looking. Number four, Toy World TWFS05 Skyburst Jetfire Battleship here. Pretty awesome. Very, very movie accurate, except for the fact it's a battleship and not a plane. Number three, Marvel Legends Retro or Vintage Wave. You got the Cyborg Spider Man, Target exclusive. Number two from Hot Toys, you got the Iron Man 3, 1 6 scale, Midas armor. Very nice. I love that gold. And number one, you got the Black Series, Mandalorian, and the Child with the helmet being able to take it off and show the head sculpt and with the child's little carrier. So real excited about this. This was definitely on my wish list. Both the unmasked head and the child's little carrier. We're very deserved of number one this week. And it is a Target exclusive. Of course, it was sold out, but hopefully it'll be in stores. So guys, what do y'all think about this top 10 list for the week? And about the honorable mentions? Would you guys have put one of the other ones on this list? Did you enjoy this week's reveals? Let me know in the comments. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of the top 10 best toy reveals of the week. Leave any kind of comments that you want. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys later. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.